Hello, I am Rob Henderson, CEO of Great Panther Mining. We're a growing gold and silver producer focused on the Americas. We have a diversified portfolio of assets in Brazil, Mexico, and Peru, and we're actively exploring a very large land package in Brazil with district scale potential, and we do believe we have potential for additional mines to feed our existing infrastructure at Tucano. I've been with the company since April last year. I believe we have a very good and strong management, and we have a board of directors that is led by Dave Garofalo. My background, I've been in mining uh, my entire life on the operations side, so my focus is on continuous improvement and bringing stability to our operations. Growth is a um, <clears throat> priority, and beyond the drill bit, we are looking at acquisition opportunities to complement our existing portfolio. We certainly believe that there is potential to get our production above 200,000 ounces a year in order to be more interesting to institutional investors. Sustainability is, of course, a big focus of ours. Um, we have been operating in our communities for over 16 years, and so our focus is on health and safety, environmental responsibility, and community engagement and development. We believe in being good neighbors. On the exploration side, we have a healthy budget. Um, Brazil has taken the lion's share of it um, with $8 million this year. And we spent that money mainly on extending our open pit mine life at Tucano. I'm um, getting more information on our high grade underground zone at Tucano. And of course, the district where we have a very large land package of 2,000 square kilometers where we've just completed an extensive soil sampling program to identify high priority drill targets and we have commenced drilling in the region. Mexico got the uh, a healthy budget of $3 million and that's basically focused on providing continuity to our operations it's all underground mining at um, Guanajuato and Topia. So your drill horizons are very limited. You have to drill it from underground. So every year we have a budget for drilling our underground mines to provide ore for the upcoming um, budget. And we've been doing this since 2005 and successfully in adding resources every single year. In Peru, we have the Coricancha project um, this is an asset that we purchased from Neastar. It was last mined in 2013, so it has all the infrastructure on site, including a mill, an underground, and tailings facilities. So it's fully permitted. And we've just completed a drill program there, which does confirm the very high grades of this underground deposit. Tupano is our focus. We made the pivot to go into Brazil in 2019. So we changed the focus of the company from being a very pure Mexican silver producer to become a more diversified regional precious metals producer. And Tucano is providing the bulk of our revenue to date. It is a big mine, um, an order of 100,000 ounces. And we had a record year last year this year, we've been a, a little bit um, less fortunate. We have had some production issues with a, some safety concerns on one of the high walls of our pits. So we are producing less this year, but we intend to get back to the 100,000 ounce level um, in 2022. Exploration is a big focus. We're looking at extending our open pit mine life at Tucano. Again, the underground zone, we're drilling further to prove up the zones for near-term production expansion. And in the region, we are looking at um, a number of targets within a 20 kilometer trucking distance of the existing 10,000 ton a day plant. The mine itself at Tucano goes for an extent of about seven kilometers from the Urukum North pit, right at the far north of the screen here. The underground deposit is below this pit. We have the Urukum Central North, 
that will come Central South, Tap C, Tap AB, and then Duckhead in the South. So we have a number of open pits. And right now we're just in the process of resequencing these pits to optimize our production portfolio for next year. We are stripping Tap AB and our production plans right now of that 100,000 ounces at Tucano, right now about 75,000 ounces come in the second half of the year. So we're looking at how we would optimize that and strengthen the first half of the year. The underground zone is banded iron formation. It's very high grade and it is directly beneath the Oracle North pit. So when we finish the open pit mining in Oracle North, the idea is we would get into this five gram a ton underground zone um, pretty soon. So we are doing advanced studies right now, and we hope to have a decision mid next year to commence with a portal going into the underground. It's a 40 to 50,000 ounce a year opportunity, and it would complement the ore from the open pit. The region is, of course, the most exciting thing. Um, a lot of work has been done, but very little drilling. So drilling, putting some diamond drills into these structures has become a priority. And I'm happy to say that Utum, we currently have drill rigs there and we are drilling it. So we should be getting some data out on Utum towards the end of the year um, and Q1 next year. Once Mutum has been drilled, we're looking at going on to Lona Amarela and Saraminda which are to the north of the Tacana mine structure located in the center of this um, very large zone. It's, we've got 90 kilometers by 30 kilometers of very interesting greenstone territory. In Mexico, we have the Guanajuato mine. It's been a steady producer for us since 2005. Uh, last year, we did approximately 1.1 million ounces. It's underground, it's high grade, and we have two mines. Um, the, we are, we're having permitting issues right now with our tailings facility. So we have not received the uh, permit to extend our tailings facility. So we're putting the Kata processing plant and the Wanawatu mine on care and maintenance. We will be, we intend to be running the San Ignacio mine. It's a much higher grade system. And we are looking at um, entering into a toll milling agreement with one of our to neighboring um, mining uh, operations. So next year, we expect to continue operations at Wanawata Mine via our San Ignacio asset. Topiam is in <clears throat> the north. It's up in the Sierra Madres. It's a much higher grade system. It's a um, little bit narrower veins. So the net result is still about 1.1 million ounces of silver per year. It's very similar to GMC. Um, it's got very good zinc byproducts, so it does make uh, quite a decent margin, and then, so Topia is working very well for us right now. And then last but not least, Coricancha in Peru. Uh, we did acquire this asset from Neostar. They last operated in 2013, and our recent drilling does indicate that you know, these high-grade zones are there and they are continuous. But we're into a capital allocation issue right now. Um, we are looking at the underground in Brazil, and we've got to compare that to the underground at Curry Cancha. I would say on a competition for capital, I think the Brazilian mine is um, leading the Curry Cancha right, right, mine right now. So we're going to have to think carefully about our options for Curry Cancha next year. Last but not least, um, our capital structure. As of the end of Q3, we had $36 million US in cash, $44 million in debt. Um, we do have a, a quite an um, intensive capital spend next year, so we are looking at how we would booster our balance sheet. And that is the end of my presentation. Um, I have made some forward-looking statements, and I caution you to, to read the um, forward-looking statements. Thank you very much.